creating signatures in Gmail. It's easier than you think and more useful than you probably realize today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? At Dotto Tech, we make technology easy so you can do more. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I encourage you, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell and let us get on with today's demo. Today, we're going to be talking about creating signatures in Gmail. Now, we do a lot of videos on how to use Gmail here on the channel. And one of the most requested things people ask me is, how do I create a signature like yours in my email? I am going to show you how today. But before we do, a quick message from our sponsors, and the sponsor in this particular case is moi. Did you know that here on Dottotech, every week we do a free webinar called Webinar Wednesday. And these are tutorial webinars on all aspects of digital life. If you've not yet taken in one of our free webinars, I encourage you, there will be a link below. Come visit us, take in Webinar Wednesday. And if you can't come live, don't worry, we have the replay that's available after the webinar is over so you can catch it even if you aren't available when we are live. All right, let me show you how to create your signatures now. Now, signatures are the bottom of an email where you add information that you want templated. You want to be able to send this information every time you send an email. It's a sign off, it's a thank you, it's perhaps contact information, it can be a marketing message, whatever you want to put in the bottom of each and every email to sign off your email, that's what goes into your signature. I've got a little message, thanks for being you, my handwritten signature and my picture and my name, Steve. So that's what I've got added to this one. That's what the signatures are that you can add automatically. And because it goes on every email, you can use this for a variety of different communication, marketing, encouragement purposes. This is how you go about creating them though. We go under the gear menu into settings. And in the settings menu in Gmail, you scroll down to the signature area where you've got a WYSIWYG editor that allows you to compose and lay out what goes into your signature. Now the term WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. So we can put anything in here in this little HTML editor. We can format it and it will look exactly as we create it here in our email when we go to send it with new emails when we attach this as a signature. So let's add, I know what we'll add, we'll add a call to action for Webinar Wednesday, inviting people to the Webinar Wednesday that I was talking about. So I'm going to say join us, join us for Webinar Wednesday. Now I'm going to show you something that's important here. I am going to put in the URL of the link to join us for webinar Wednesday. And I've got it right here, webwed. There we go. Now, do you see something funny here? It, it's not showing up with a blue hyperlink, like it's a link. That's because here in this editor, you actually have to tell it that it's a link. So let me just highlight the text here and I'm going to click on the link. Now, if I'd done this at the beginning, if I'd put this in as a link at the beginning, it would have actually brought up a whole different dialog box. See, I'll, I'll do another one. I'll put in my cursor here and see if I click on the link. It puts it in and says, do you want it to be a link? Oh, we can actually do this. Let's make it even nicer. Let's fix it up. I should have thought of that. Join us for webinar Wednesday. I'm going to highlight that text. I'm going to make that text the link. Oh, I've got a little tool here that adds that overlay. There we go. And let's put in... There we go. Okay. Now I've got a nice hyperlink in my signature that says join us for webinar Wednesday. Now here is the most important thing I'm going to teach you today. Don't just exit out of this screen. In any time you make any changes to the settings in Gmail, you have to scroll way down to the bottom of the screen and you have to find the tiniest button in existence, the save changes button. I don't know why Google makes this button so small and why they don't make it big and kind of sliding up and down because if you don't click on this, none of the changes you make in the, in, in the settings will take hold. And I know people get confused about this all the time because it's really easy to miss that button. Now they will, if you try an exit, they will give you a prompt you with a dialogue box that says, are you sure you want to leave? But I don't think people pay as close attention to that as a big ass save button. I think a big ass save button is what's called for, but that might be just me. Let's see if our signature worked. There it is. 
join us for webinar Wednesday. So now people can click on that and they can join us for webinar Wednesday. Isn't that sweet? Now, if you want to add kind of fancier things to it, if you want to add photos or if you want to do a written signature, you can do that as well just by if we take a look here in that dialog box, if we just take a look here, we've got the ability to add an image and insert an image. Now, you're going to want to be careful about the size of the image that you include and making sure that it's small enough, but the WYSIWYG editor will show you just how that image looks. So adding your logo or a photo of yourself, that's all a great thing to do. Now. I also want to show you how to add a handwritten signature because this will actually flummox a lot of people getting a signature in. Now, if you're really good artistically, you can go into a graphics package and use your mouse and recreate your handwritten signature. I can't do that. So actually creating a signature that I could put in the bottom of the email, it took me a little bit of MacGyvering to figure out the entire process. I'm just going to walk you through it really quickly. One way to do it, uh, if you're competent in Photoshop or, or, or graphics applications, you don't need this part of the tutorial, but if you're not, you may need it. So what I did is I just took a, an envelope and I wrote my signature on it and I used a black pen. I took my phone and I took a picture of it and then I uploaded the photo from the phone to the desktop of my computer here. And now the image that I uploaded, it doesn't look all that good actually if we take a look at it because it's doesn't make the paper really white behind because it's not perfectly white. So if I was to put this signature in my email, it would look out of place because the white background wouldn't match. So I either have to make the signature a PNG, so a transparent file, or I have to make the background perfectly white so it looks okay in my email. So how do we go about doing that? Well, you can, if you, if you are comfortable using a tool like Photoshop, you can do it all yourself and you don't need me to show you. But if you're not comfortable with Photoshop and graphics applications, this is one way that you might consider doing it. I was fooling around with Google Drive the other day. I found that in our additional apps that we have available to us in Google Drive is one called Pixel Edit, or there it is. Pixlr Editor, which is a photo editing app. When I open that up, it looks a lot like Photoshop and it's free and it's part of Google Drive now. So I open, so what you can do is you can connect that app, let's open it up and let's open the image that I just saved, which is the signature sample. And there you can go through and you can clean up this image as you would in Photoshop, removing the background and creating a nice white signature. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. I, I'm not a great, great photo editor, uh, but I know the first thing that I want to do is I want to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise, I think. Nope. <laughs> what did I say about not being uh, great? There we go. Uh, there we go. So we've got the signature now. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the signature itself, make it smaller. There we go. I've just reduced the amount of size. Now, what we want to do is we want to remove that, that kind of beigey paper background from the back. Now, they've got this magic wand tool which will select the similar color, but it, it's not going to do a nice job of cleaning out this background because the, there, there's too many va variations in the color. So, but there's a way to do it. Watch here. See here you have the tolerance. If we turn up the tolerance of this to here and then reuse that tool, that magic wand tool and click again, it's going to find all the color that's even close to being similar on the outside here. Other colors. You have to play with it a bit to get the right mix. There we go. That looks pretty good. Is that going to do it? That actually was a little bit too much. Let's turn it down just a bit. Maybe there. What do you think? As I say, I'm not the world's best photo editor, but I get the job done. Ah, that looks like it's getting it done. Oh, that cleaned it out nicely. Now we can also go in and we can select all of the stuff on the inside. And this is how you can create an M, a, a signature that's going to look nice and clean at the bottom of your email. Now, a couple of tips there is I did use a black pen that uh, in a, a kind of a thicker pen that created the nice signature and uh, it's worth doing it. And you only have to do this once, right? You only have to do it once, go through and clean it all up. And then you could save this as either a PNG or just as a JPEG because it'll, it'll be fine just as a JPEG file. And we can then upload it. Let me show you how to do that into the signature to, to drop it in the bottom of your email. And it, you go here under the insert image and there you can upload the image 
to the to the file. Now I realize that's getting down in the weeds a bit, but I know a lot of you want to do that signature and you can't necessarily figure out how to get it in. And the cool thing is you can actually use that signature for other online purposes. You now have a nice clean signature on a white background that you can use for a variety of different online applications. Now, if you have any comments, I would love to hear what you have to say. Are you using signatures in Gmail? What other tips do you want to learn about, about using Gmail or any other of the Google online services? I would love to know, and I'll do my best to create a video to support whatever it is that you folks are looking for. If you found today's video to be useful, entertaining, or enlightening, a couple of favors. First, make sure you share this with your friends who might find this useful. Secondly, if you've not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button and ring the notification bell so you hear when we upload any new videos here at Dotto Tech. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.